Hi, I'm Karen. I'm the Domestic Abuse Coordinator for Wokingham Council and I've worked with the Antisocial Behaviour Team to put on this event today alongside uh, the Hong Kong community. We're conscious that people who migrate to the area might not know how systems work. They might not understand the role of the police or other services and we really kind of want people to know if you need some help, how you can get that help. So really great to welcome everyone today, speak to the organisations and hopefully we can spread awareness of what support is there. Hi, good day, my name is Anne. And, and I'm Natasha, Natasha and we're on the ASB team, Antisocial Behaviour. With Wokingham Borough Council. On the environmental side we deal with fly tipping and abandoned vehicles, we will follow up to the end with a good result. Then we also deal with statutory nuisance, that is um, neighbourly nuisance, noise nuisance, um, building, uh, construction work nuisance. Other issues that we do deal with is um, car meets in various council car parks. We do have a public protection order in place. Most people have CCTV, you've got it on your phone, you've got it, you may have it in your homes. If the CCTV can capture an offence related to antisocial behaviour or fly tipping, then those CCTV images can be sent in to us at ASB at wokingham.gov.uk. Um, just call on us and um, we'll try and sort it out for you. So I deal with victim survivors of domestic abuse. Um, Cranston um, covers the walking on area. We actually work with victims uh, of all genders and we also run a perpetrators programme as well. I offer um, a perpetrators programme called the Men and Masculinity programme. Um, it's a 24 week programme and we have men on all program that have been referred to us um, and are also um, men who have self-referred as well. Uh, we offer a program that looks at behaviour change primarily and we look at the impact of domestic abuse on uh, the victim, we look at the impact on children and we look at how we can really drive home the messages of changing some of those behaviours in the perpetrators. Please don't hesitate to call us, there's someone on the end of the phone and then we can actually give you the right support and advice you need. I am the young person substance awareness uh, worker. I go into schools and in the community and work with young people from the age of 11 to, to 18. Um, I uh, also work quite closely with Thames Valley Police and uh, do the drug diversion scheme for young people that have been stopped in search of illegal uh, substances. I work with children where their parents are misusing substances on the harm reduction plan and I do um, cover presentations and workshops within the school to raise awareness and education for our young people of Wokeham Borough. Uh, we support our police officers. We are the first sort of um, face of our uh, policing. So we gather intel, we find our victims, we find out who needs us. We deal with antisocial behavior. Um, every now and then you can see us up and about uh, wearing the hats, wearing the high vis and obviously we are aiming to talk to as many people as possible. You probably see us sometime during the night with torches. Yes, it's us looking through bushes, the woods, looking for uh, missing people. Um, we help people with uh, drug addictions, how we could do that. We defer them to other agencies. Uh, we help youth. Um, if we identify that there are, there's a group causing nuisance and, or they are actually committing crimes, uh, they are deferred to youth offending team. We help elderly uh, and vulnerable as well. We reach out to them, meeting them in different uh, social clubs. We still do safety assessments at people's houses, uh, how they could improve their security. So now if you witness a crime which is happening now, please contact police at 999 call. Also, if you have any issues at all, please call 101.
However, you could uh, do that online on Thames Valley Police website, report to crime, and we come back to you. A key area for me is um, violence against women and girls, often just referred to as a Borg, but a really key uh, priority for us at Wokingham. And that's about kind of working uh, with, uh, with women and girls across the community to find out what the issues are, are they feeling safe, are they not feeling safe, and what can we do as, a, as an organisation and indeed as a partnership with our colleagues uh, within the police and, uh, and service providers to make places safer, make routes to and from work, whether or whether it's socialising, nighttime economy. So what can we do to make things safer for women and girls? So that's a kind of key, a key area uh, of work for me. And as an organisation, working in Borough Council, we've now got white ribbon accreditation and I have my white ribbon badge on. Um, and again, that's about looking at the culture within our own organisation to make sure that we've got the right policies in place, the right practices in place, to make sure that our female colleagues uh, are, um, are kept safe within the, within the organisation. Hi, I'm Zoe Hanum, I'm the Prevent Lead from the Council. The Prevent programme is a government programme that we run locally. It's about raising awareness to keep people safe, mainly online, raise awareness about the possibility of becoming extremists, particularly for children and young people, and people who are vulnerable. So we do two things. One is raising awareness, and particularly with schools, to keep children safe online, and also to support people who have become vulnerable and have started to go down that route of becoming extremists. And we provide support such as mentors. We might provide things like mental health services or social care, anything that will help that person to become less vulnerable and move away from extremist behaviour or thinking. Uh, so people can find lots of information on our website, the uh, working website, and um, if they want to find out information, just type in prevent, and that'll give you lots of information. And you can also find out information about keeping safe online there as well. We're a charity that run free courses for people in person. We run courses in um, English and uh, employability, meaning the courses that are things like CV writing, interview skills, group interview skills, preparing you for the workplace. So if you're looking for a job, um, this is the place to come. All the courses are absolutely free for everybody. And we also, in the centre, offer room high and there's lots and lots of activities that go on from Early Crescent as well. We're here today to talk about fire safety in the home. And, out, and if you'd like to book a visit, for us to come out and test your smoke alarms and also give you a bit of fire safety advice to keep you, to keep you living as safe as possible in the home. Uh, hi, good morning. Um, I'm a community navigator. We exist to help uh, the public, members of the community, um, with information on local events, support groups, um, anything that we can help with well-being, um, and people can contact us directly or via other services like um, the council, um, social workers. Um, in libraries, we've got a lot of information, a lot of events happen there. Also community centres uh, where they have exercise programmes, coffee mornings. There's a lot going on in the community and many people don't realise it. So we want people to be aware and to enjoy all of the facilities that they are. It's about empowerment as well. So it might be about courses they want to do, um, finding a new job or volunteering is a big part of uh, Involve um, in Bracknell and in Wokingham. Um, we have a cancer support network, um, which is directly with us. Um, uh, and this is very successful with peers helping each other out. Literally every illness has their charity, so it might be blindness, for example, bereavement, um, and we're able to signpost them and make suggestions. To get in touch with us directly, um, you can go straight to the charity hub in Wokingham or contact us by phone. Hi, I'm Emily from the Holiday Activity and Food Programme and I'm here today to talk to anyone who has school-aged children and tell them about the activities that we can offer free places for this summer. 
There's a range of activities for different age ranges where um, ch uh, children can attend holiday activities um, away from their home. Some activities they can also uh, go with their families to. There's specialist SEND facilities as well. For more information, email half at wokingham.gov.uk.